AB Calculus Note Card 78, Exponential Growth and Decay. This is the 78th video lesson in the series inspired by Stacy McMullen, formerly of the Dallas Independent School District. You may have noticed that if you follow these along, that the lesson 77, Note Card 77, is missing. And the reason it is because Note Card 77 is a duplicate of Lesson 75. So uh, this turns out to be the last one in the series. If y is a differentiable function of t such that y is greater than zero and y prime equals ky for some constant k, then y equals c times e to the power of kt. And so k right here as part of the exponents are constant of variation and this big C here becomes is our constant of uh, constant of integration. And we're going to see where these come from here. If we have y prime equals ky, let's rewrite this as dy dt equals ky. And if we cross multiply the dt, we get dy is equal to ky dt. And if we divide by y, we get dy over y equals k dt. Now, if we integrate both sides of this equation, the integral of dy over y is going to be the natural logarithm of the absolute value of y. And on the right side, we're going to have kt. And we're going to have plus c, our constant integration. That's where this big C comes from eventually. And now to solve for Y, we are going to exponentiate to the power of E, both sides. So we have, we have E of ln Y. So we have Y is equal to on the right side, we have E to the KT plus C. And so what that what that leaves us with is y equals e to the kt times e to the c and this e to the c we can turn into this constant integration c big c so that simplifies to y equals big c times e to the kt So that's how we get this thing right here. Okay, that's where that's where this thing comes from. So let's go over a couple problems. If dy dt equals ky and k is a non-zero constant, then y could be. So we're going to do just like we did earlier here to the right. Just go through that process again. We're going to have dy. I'll just write out dy dt equals ky and cross multiplying the dt we get dy is equal to ky dt and then dividing by y we get dy over y equals k dt and integrating both sides of the equation we get we get a natural logarithm of absolute value of y is equal to a kt plus c. And exponentiating both sides to the, to the e right here like this, we're going to get y equals e to the kt plus C. 
and working to the right, we're going to end up with y is equal to e to the kt times e e to the c. And continuing to work to the right, we can simplify that to y equals big C times E to the KT. And now we can glance up and look at our potential answer choices, A through E, and what do we have? Well, we got KT, that, that almost works out. I'm just looking at things here. I'm thinking B is our correct answer because that's if, look at right, if C is equal to 2, then Y is equal to 2 E to the power of KT. Okay, so that's it. Let's go look at our last problem. The number of bacteria in a culture is growing at a rate of 3,000 E to the power of 2T over 5 per unit of time T. And then what we are given is a particular solution here at T equals 0. Number of bacteria was 7,500. Find the number present at T equals 5. And 5 hours, 5 minutes, 5 seconds, we don't know. That's not necessary to know. So number of bacteria We'll just call this a Y is equal to 3,000 E to the power of 2T over 5. Except is that really right? No, because that's going to be it's going to be rate. So that needs to be different, doesn't it? We need to have this instead of Y. We need to write in dy dt. And if we cross multiply the dt, we're going to get dy is equal to 3000 e to the power of 2t over 5 times dt. And we can integrate both sides. And we integrate both sides of this equation. I'm going to just put the integral integral symbol out here. Now we integrate this e to the power of 2t over 5. It would be like doing a u substitution where we set u being equal to 2t over 5. So du is equal to 2 fifths dt. So dt is going to be equal to 5 halves du. And so that's what we're going to have to put in here. So if we go ahead and use dt and, and integrate, and in the left side, the integral of dy is going to be y. And the right side, we're going to have 3,000. We're going to have e to the power of 2t over 5. And then we're going to multiply that by 5 halves. Plus we're going to have our constant of integration c. Now one thing we've got to be careful of is even though we have an e here, it's not the same, it's not the same situation because we don't have like ln y. So it's not like we are actively exponentiating both sides. So what we have here is y is equal to 3,000 times 5 halves e to the power of 2t over 5 plus c, our constant integration. And then 3,000 times 5 is 15,000, 15,000 divided by 2 is 7,500. So we get y equals 7,500 e to the 2t over 5 plus c. And this 
this is called our uh, general solution. What we're going to need to do to find a particular solution, we're going to have to say it says that t equals zero, the number of bacteria present was 7,500. So we're going to say 7,500 is equal to 7,500 e to the two times At t equals zero, the number of bacteria is present with 75. So we're going to have two times zero over five oh, it's, no, it's five at t equals zero Okay, yes, we do. Let's we'll see. And for that, I'm going to work this up here like this. We have 7,500 equals 7,500 and e to the zero power is one, right? So 7,500 equals 7,500 plus C. So C is equal to zero. So now that means that this is our, this becomes our particular solution here. I'm going to substitute that in here. So our particular solution We have y equals 3,000 no, y equals I'm actually going to put it in here for this C here. I got the wrong one. Okay. y equals 7,500 e to the 2t over 5. And now find the number present, and since c is 0, we don't even add anything else. At t equals 5, y is going to be equal to 7,500. We have e to the 2 times 5 divided by 5. So y is going to be equal to 7,500. E and 5 over 5 cancel, so we have E squared. So y is equal to 7,500 E squared, and that will be our number of bacteria. So I hope this has been helpful to you and this entire series, by the way. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.